Hi, Dr. Bridget here with another prescription for success. And today is about why cutting out the garbage is useful. So why, why is cutting out the garbage useful? Um, it's a bit of a personal one. I'm not particularly good at tidying. In fact, well, I wouldn't say I was a hoarder, but I, I just have piles of what I think are probably useful things but may not be useful um, around the house and um, I'm just starting to tackle that. Well, actually that's not true because I've been tackling it for some years now. But I'm pretty determined this time and I'm getting some help. So what I'll do is I'll um, put Katie Caloran's uh, website on, on the blog. So if you think that you need some physical help with tidying things up, um, you can contact her. So here's the thing, if everything's piled up together then you can't really distinguish between what you need and what you don't need. So it means you don't have any focus, you can't really make a plan or if you have a plan it's probably in amongst the garbage um, and, and you know it's much more difficult to make decisions and you know if your waste is muddled up with all the resources and all the positive things that you need then you know life life is more challenging i would say um on a personal level I, i'm not sure what you think so you know in terms of garbage um what's the definition of it it's, it's basically rubbish or waste so that could be paperwork it could be um other things in your house it could be people it could be advice there's all sorts of things that um, can be waste and also can be resources so um, just suggesting that it, you know if you've got a pile just take a pile uh, and sort it out so it, as I say it might be paper it might be other waste might be people it might be advice so you know if it's a physical pile then you can sort that out and if it's a mental pile then you know you can uh, get some help to sort that out as well and then you know once you've identified out of that which the rubbish is which the garbage is and then throw it away and then you know have a system for identifying what is garbage so maybe you know you might have people around you that um, drain your energy you might have um, lots of advice from other people that isn't particularly helpful. Again, it could be waste or, you know, other things in your house um, or your garden. So have a system for, you know, avoiding the garbage and also have a system for identifying what, what you need. So you'll have a gut feeling about what's useful and what's not. So, um, you know, only keep the paper you need. And if you need paper, then just keep that um, or put it on the computer. Um, if there's people around you that you, you know, aren't helpful, well, you know, find some way of throwing them away and just getting the people that you really do need. And that's the, the gut feel and, you know, people who have your values and who are helpful and don't advise, but just um, are there for you whenever you need them. So a bit of a metaphor for life, really. Uh, if you can't get rid of your rubbish or your garbage if you're having difficulty sorting out what is rubbish and garbage or what is useful resources then get in touch and um, I do a free uh, half hour session so that you can get to know me and we can talk about the garbage and how to get the things that aren't garbage and also I run courses as well which will also give you the skills to cut the garbage out so I shall see you next week take care bye